Hello, everyone. Sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up. The Grand Poobah is about to dish. When something happens that I feel I want to talk about, I will. About any sport at any time. But today it just so happens to be about the new rules in baseball. Here is the Grand Poobah's thoughts. This is what Commissioner Manfredi said about the new rules, and I quote, Our guiding star in thinking about changes to the game has always been our fans. What do our fans want to see on the field? We've conducted thorough and ongoing research with our fans, and certain things are really clear. Number one, fans want games with better pace. Two, fans want more action, more balls in play. And three, fans want to see more of the athleticism of our great players. End of quote. Okay, here's what I think about what he said. First of all, fuck the guiding star. How about just use your heads, you momos? Okay, number one, the games are about 20 minutes shorter on average. So I guess that's important to the fans. All the fans? Most? Some? What's the percentage? Number two, it puts more balls in play. Where's the stat for that? The plays are still home run, or strikeout. And I don't believe hits or anything is up in stats, so that's bullshit, in my opinion. Number three. Ah! <laughs> Athleticism? Stop the injuries when they take a crap so they can actually play the entire season and show us this incredible athleticism. Anyway, here is how I see the new rules. One, the pitch clock. I like it. Let's play ball. Between the pitcher walking around looking for a rosin bag or blowing his hand or touching his cap or digging the mound hole or, or picking his cleats clean and the hitter stepping out of the box and adjusting his jock strap and every other bullshit thing he's wearing from dual batting gloves to elbow protectors and toe guards. Just, just fucking pitch and hit already without all the other fucking bullshit. Preparation for each pitch. I'm okay with the pitch clock. Number two, bigger bases. All I can say about bigger bases is, what the fuck is the deal with bigger bases? Why do we need bigger bases? What was wrong with the old bases? What's next? What's next, I ask you? A six-foot-wide strike zone so the, the bats are eight feet long in the future? Stop it already with the bigger bases, will you? Number three, no shift. I call bullshit. The shift is called strategy. If the defense wants to shift and the batter can't figure out how to slap a ball down the line the other way, then fuck the hitter in his dirty neck. What's next? Fielders have to stand on pre-painted footprints in the field and can't move until the pitch is thrown. If a team wants to put all nine guys on the pitcher's mound and the hitter can get a hit, then send that hitter down to play T-ball. Let the defense shift. Number four, the pitcher can only throw to first base twice for a pickoff attempt per batter. That's a tough one. The pitcher has every strategic right to try to keep a good base stealer close. On the flip side, that cat and mouse back and forth to first fucking bullshit every at bat can be like watching paint dry. So I'm going to say leave the new rule in as is and let the runners run on the pitcher if they can. Number five. Starting a man on second to start an extra inning. Now, this was already in place last season, but I've never spoken about it. This is the biggest infamia in the history of sports. Play the fucking game the way it was intended. We used to think extra inning games were exciting and getting our money's worth. This is like watching three-year-olds run to third after a hit. Get rid of this rule immediately. And that's that. Let me know if you agree or disagree. I don't give a fuck either way. This is the Grand Poobah signing off for now. Always remember, sports are necessary for the masses because unlike life, there's always a winner and loser unless there's a tie or the ump blew the game. <laughs>